Sprinting from that 1,000 metre marker, not a bad beginning this one. Prince of Venice is right there, Wolfgang's dropped off them three lanes. Captain Cobalt's very quick, Bravo Zulu's right there, Moshav between them. Tweed Valley's there, Big King on the outside, Rocket Fire, that's in the yellow, then Wolfgang. Royal Rustler, but it's compact, is about four lanes top to tail. Captain Gobalt just the leader, Tweed Valley is second. Bravo Zulu, the white headgear, then Prince of Venice. Further back, Big King, Royal Rustler's down the inside, Mashab between runners, and Wolfgang's got about four or five to go. Coming down to the 300, Captain Cobalt still leads it. Prince of Venice behind that one, Bravo Zulu, Tweed Valley. Down the inside is Royal Rassler. It's still Captain Cobalt, Royal Rassler. Prince of Venice is also running on on the outside. Prince of Venice is coming strongly at Captain Cobalt over the last 100. Prince of Venice, Captain Cobalt, Prince of Venice won it. Second is close between Captain Cobalt and Royal Rassler. Number nine, Prince of Venice, the Vez and Jetterick, Jan Janssen and Fieren, another one for him, Warren Kennedy, Green Street Bloodstock, they have a good deal, uh, Captain Cobalt or Royal Rustler, it's very close for that second position, so number nine wins it at 470 second, it looks as though number eight, Captain Cobalt with the white cap, and then Royal Rustler, number four, then Moshav, the tote favourite was number six, Moshav, Wolfgang and then Rocket Fire and they were followed by Bravo Zulu. We'll take a look at that head on shortly and Prince of Venice is coming good here with a green cap and uh, at this stage it's still Captain Cobalt and Royal Rustler's on the left hand side. Prince of Venice gets to them, they have a good struggle and then Prince of Venice eventually puts its head down and goes on to score. So that is the running of race six. Next up the seventh, back to the studio. Well, it's a good win here for Prince of Venice, Johan Janssen van Vieren, Warren Kennedy, Green Seed Bloodstock and all the connections and straight out the maidens, the son of Versin Getrix and he's come to, to win a gutsy race. Uh, a nice double thus far for the stable of Johan Janssen van Vieren. Well done Johan, you, you've picked your spots and uh, things are turning out uh, to be you know, on the right side for you this afternoon. Yeah, he's, he's, got a, he's got a horse that needed a draw to be honest with you, he needs cover, he needs to learn it. Um, his, his debut, so he actually, he ran a very good barrier, and in his debut, um, he was drawn wide. I don't know how people win, <laughs> win from bad draws at Grave. I see people often win, but I promise you, every time I've taken on a bad draw at Grave, I've got a hiding. Even today in the first race, it's just, for me, it just it never seems to work out. Anyway, we nominated, we nominated him three weeks ago, and we didn't draw well, and then lucky all the guys got patience, and we got lucky with the one draw this time, and he looks to be a smart also. He really he shows good work at home, and um, even though I thought he ran a good race today, I think he beat some decent campaigners today. Now, you mentioned on this morning's show that, you know, he's a horse that you think could have a future as well. Yeah, listen, he's unbelievably well-bred. He's from a family of Princess Victoria there. Yes. You know, that great uh, main chance. And just well done to them. You know, I've been extremely lucky with those guys. Often after sales, his horse left O and I've gone and they, they do me a turn and they've given me terms, months to pay. And I've been extremely lucky with main chance horses. So thank you very much. They gave me terms on this horse. They gave me extra time to pay. Obviously, it's expensive horse and Versing Getrix was very much unproven at the time. So yeah, I just thank you very much to them and, and great family for them and Warren and Lance and all the other partners involved. Yeah, a big group of guys involved with Green Street here. Yeah, listen, they, are, um, they only got involved very recently. Um, long story, I don't want to even go there. Um, after lots of frustration, they helped me out because obviously we had to pay the guys out to used to own the horse. But um, yeah, Justin, he's, he's just a good mate of mine and always comes to the party when I need him. Well done to the entire team who got involved there. Well done, Yo. Thank you. Lovely. Johan, it's a double for his stable. Warren Kennedy, well, he knows the source best. And I remember last time out when the source did shed the, the maiden at Scottsville. Uh, you, you praised him in a big way, Warren. Yeah, he gave me a nice field. He's, I mean, when I barrier trialed him, he gave me a very good field. His first one disappointed us. He came here and he just blitzed away. And he's still a work in progress. He's, you know, um, down the straight, I was able to get a nice cover with him behind that horse. I think it was Winter, 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 Winter of um, 
pull as they came out to win. Yeah, winter chill. Yeah, winter chill, yes. Um, and I had a nice lead from him, and he switched off nicely down the straight there. But um, back on the poly today, draw one, he pinged the gates and he wanted to run these. I mean, the last time we was here, I did the same thing. So he's a work in progress. Uh, he didn't quite sit with me, but he done he done the job in fine style towards the end. You know, I always felt I had had a bit in reserve when I needed to ask him to run, and and he gave it duly. So it was a lovely win. Like I say, a work in progress. You got to work on him and teach him to sit a little bit better. But um, a lovely horse. You know, that's the positive because he had to go and fetch those other horses today, and uh, there were no slouches in front of him. I mean, these are older horses. Yeah, look, it's it's always difficult for for young ones to come out and manage to go straight into a handicap, but um. He done it in fine style. He's um, not not the way I would have liked him to do it. He did it a bit hard the first part, and when he did switch off, it was just before turning the straight. So it's not the right time to really switch off. But I had to just bide my time on him and and trust in him. And you know, Samangas also went towards the outside, so it got a bit cramped for him. So it was a learning curve for him. He did very well to to pull off the win today. Two more races left. Anything you can help us with? Geez, I've got Pansula in the next. He's very poorly drawn. Um, things have to go his way. He's that type of horse. If everything goes his way. He runs on really nasty, so he's, he's got to be in with a, a trifecta quartet chance. Um, I'm not saying he can't win, but he, he's definitely got a, a winning chance as well. But um, the draw is not going to make it easy for me. And at the back, look, we're all chasing Johans off home, I think. I'm running T-Total. Her last run, you can basically put a line to it. She missed the break, and she was out the, out, at the back of the field. She ran on nasty to a point, so we've dropped her in distance to a 14. She'll be better, but I still think maybe Johans is a bit better than, than she is. Give up the good work, Warren. Thanks, Dees. Lovely. Let's get Lance in. I heard Kevin mentioned my good mate Lance. Lance, well done to yourself and your partners. Thank you, Dee. Uh, good, good one here, because you know you you have to like the comments coming through from both uh, jockey and trainer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we really like him. Um, you know, win a maiden, but then to come out and win second time out. Now we know we might actually have quite a nice horse here. Talking about the partnership, it's a big partnership. And how, how did you get involved? I have to thank Justin for Mark Green Street and Johan. Um, I didn't get in initially, but I was looking for Versing Gerex. I just I went to Main Chance the year or so ago. I saw him and I just wanted one of his. So they they got me in here, and I just have to thank them for that. Really appreciate. It. And obviously all the other partners. Well done to them. Many horses involved in it with shares. Yeah, I got a few. Um, and thanks to thanks to the likes of Justin. You know, it gives the guys who want to just take a smaller share and be able to get involved. It's 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 great. Um, it's you know it's a difficult game. We all know that. Um, but I'm. I love it, um, but it's hard to take 100% in a horse. Well, Kevin was uh, disappointed that you didn't go over to him and tip him the horse, uh, and, and he was surprised to see you on the track. Uh, any message to him? Well, he did me in the first race with um, Magnificus because he tipped it. Yes. So I'm going to blame Kevin for that because <laughs> sure. we quite fancied Magnificus. So yeah. that was a little disappointing. And then he didn't tip Prince, so then I knew we were going to win it today. So you just stayed away from him? I stayed away from him. <laughs> but <laughs> he's at the back, he's looking for me. <laughs> well, Lance, yourself and your partners, yeah. all the best of the source. Positive comments coming through. And it's, it's nice, you know, to get a lot of guys in with one horse. And maybe you guys are going to have some, uh, some fun later on this season as well. Yeah, thanks, Dees. And just really, really good to be in your hands yard. A great bunch of people. Just absolutely loving it. My, the last, last year, taking my racing to a different level, to be honest. Just really, really enjoying it again. Well, if that's the case, then uh, long may it continue. Cheers, Dees. Thank you. Well done to Lance. All the other boys here, too many to mention, but obviously Justin Fermark putting this uh, together. Green Street Bloodstock. Number nine, Prince of Venice, has come through to win race number six. And it should be a useful quartet. Six, eight, four, and uh, sorry, nine, eight, four, and six is the way they cross the line. Uh, two more races left. Up next, race seven, closing off uh, this afternoon's jackpot.